200 deep there, you should call sevens. Do, do, do you really need me to do this? Again? Like, do you really need me to do this? Nobody asks! I've had a real nice juicer this um, this past couple of days because we've got a two and a half K score playing uh, uh, tournaments as well. So we've had really fucking nice juicer. That was a $1 bat, but it was uh, we bought the bonus for $200. Probably just going to jam this Ace King. Ugh. And we're going to fall back here. That seemed aggressive enough that I think jamming's actually... Uh... How are you all in? This is really close. I guess fold and go with Ace King suited. All right, no ten. That's a bit annoying. That's a really good flop for us. Brick the river, please. They are definitely minus CV. Nice. We take that, sir. We take that. Uh, well, this is annoying. Just fucking leave the table and come back, you dope. Crossfit with the four months. What's good? I mean, I'm all in here. Thirty in the middle. This just fucking prints. 30 big blinds in the middle. It's so sick if you've got a better hand. Have ace-king, bro. Come on, hold. Nine. Diamond. Uh, Jack's no good. Nine. Nine ball, corner pocket. That's a fucking upside down nine. At least he had ace-king, but it's so fucking sick that, like, there's just dead money there. This guy just fucking called nine big blinds out of 36 and unfolded. Okay, how's it going to be bigger, bro? In fact, we're a little bit deeper. This is fine. Bades. This was the fucking net that I had uh, King Queen before. I guess call, call, folds. So we have Ace King here, pure. Um, we have Sevens. Ace Five suited. It's a really nice turn on the right. And that's like the worst river ever. Um, what are you doing here, sir? Didn't look hard you were allowed to lead on. And uh, you just fucking win every time then. Like it's still plus EV to me for me to play tired even if it winds me up more and even if I even if I don't play as well. This is a this is a reasonable flop on the right. I've ace four of fucking hearts and say nothing. Uh, that's a shit turn. Not really that relevant. Obviously it's relevant to 10 jack. If you get raised, it's relevant. <clears throat> Is he just gonna jam uh, jack 10? Can he have like, so he could probably have like king queen and then maybe something like jack 9 of spades. So I'm not gonna fall too per and we'll just give him the nit tag if he has jack 10 because that's an egregious shove. And of course he does. He can maybe just fold because I can just call ace king and then sats and then jack ten. Uh, I guess that's three about here. Aces, can we do some damage, please? I'm gonna shut this back. We're gonna fall back here. Do I have a chat back again? No, I'll go small. I guess we'll bet River, because we're most likely to have the best hand. And hopefully your heroes, tens or eights. Stick it in, cross inside. Really nice flop. Pretty sure we get to bet bigger on this if we want, especially deep out. We'll check really nice turns, or diamonds I guess we'll check as well. What the fuck? Is he okay? That was nice of him. Been around the block, still pack shows in it. I'm not not three bet and seven eight clubs. You can just grow up. Or on beggars, yeah, you know. <laughs> whom, whom thou raided? Um, I've I've got a do not bluff tag, but I also just kind of want to bluff him. 
Yeah, I think we can bet here because I still think we get all like broadways and then like fours, five, sixes to fold. But we basically just have to. I'm probably just going to check this turn. Just give us the fucking six of spades one time, bro. I, I don't really want to multi barrel him. This could be it. This is this. Is, I, I mean, I'm tripling this against normal human being. I guess bet small on the river to specifically target king, queen, queen, jack of diamonds and potentially spades. So I'm not trying to get him to fold a pair. I need him to not have a pair. And that's why I'm going super small. Fucking love to see it. Um, we will just call here. I'm mainly far betting against guys that I know are rags. I don't know much about this guy, so we will just see a flop in position. And we will probably just stack off here. Not going anywhere yet. <clears throat> uh, check or bet, probably similar EV. It's annoying when we see an ace or a king on the river, but... I mean, a 10, he could have pocket 10s, but I'm just going to bet really small there against what I'm trying to target. Snap calls, we should be good, but he's a fucking stain on the game. Cold, cold, pre. Min raise the flop. <laughs> I actually have something to, to want to bet the turn. I'll go for the check raise over queens on the left. Um, and probably play for stacks. And if he has a five or six, seven, it's just unfortunate. I think against a fun player, we can probably do this and then jam river. We'll call a range jam in the, uh, in the big. He likes a squeeze. See? So, I think that with the GTO Wizard basically doesn't have a... Doesn't have a 4-bet range here. It just calls its entire range. Um, rather than have a back 4-bet range. But here, I'm just going to back 4-bet jam. Um, and range jam is going to be like, what do you mean? <laughs> I wonder if I should have bet this today, Jack. Take it, easy money. you got to know your opponents, boys. <laughs> Aces, hello. Can we do some damage, please? So you three action of the gun and a call. <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah? Call? Call? We're going to go large here, because <clears throat> I expect him to do a lot of calling. Uh, do I want to go 16? Yeah, versus three action call. I think 16 is fine. Back jam. All in. All in, sir. Uh, if I had the um, club, I would definitely check raise here. He should never have a better hand, but like he could. I think I'm just going to jam with two flush draws. Checking is definitely viable. But I think that if he has like eight through to tens, he's just going to call anyway. And we have really bad clarity in a lot of rivers. so Hopefully he doesn't have any nonsense, like a set. Hold. Love to see it. It uh, might be a bit of an aggressive check raise. I would probably check raise king five of diamonds always. Okay, checks back anyway. Um, we could check raise this or we could lead. I think I'm just going to lead. Um, bet small, check raise, bet big. I think anything is fine. I'm going to go for the small bet here. This one. Uh, sketchy flop with the ace king. The, the worst part about this is that I have to call um, as opposed to go all in because I mean, probably because he's just going to have it. But the problem is that like 
He's not gonna have Jack actually. I think we actually lose. Um, so I'm just gonna call. We do beat some like, but 10-8 and like 10-9 of diamonds should just always bet the flop, right? And that doesn't call, obviously. We get the call from Jack 10 there, lovely. Like, imagine even making it that size, bro, like. Uh, I'm gonna three bet our boy Perex, very, very deep. Uh, I'm gonna call over the size 10 suited. In position, ding ding, a ding 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 fucking ding. Right, um, let's just bet small. Slip. Uh, I am just going to try and get money in against this player. This is, I would never ever do this against anyone that doesn't have a purple tag. Uh, looks like half part in the Jam River. Half part will be 20, so 20 plus 20 would leave 82. We don't even need to go that big. We can go like 20, and then we can Jam River for less than pot. I expect him to do a lot of jamming on turn though. Clean as fuck run out, bro. Clean. Please call. I bet he's going to call like Ace King of Hearts. It's actually a much better call than Ace King of Hearts, but still. Slip, slip, slip. Easy game. But like as a streamer, like so when you stream to 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 to, to get like anywhere in streaming, you need to either have be extremely talented, like top like fucking two percent, which I'm not. Um, or you just need to have like a niche or a selling point that, that makes you different from other people. Like, cause there's so many streamers. Poker less so because it's less competitive than the rest of Twitch, but. So people, are, and, but then people are like, I can't believe you berate people. It's like, mate, come on, it's a fucking joke. The, the, the joke is that I'm playing 10 and L against obvious like fun players or people trying to learn and I'm, I'm having a go at them. Right, King Queen, let's raise. Let's drill a nine. That's not a nine. So I'm going to press my equity here anyway, because we do have some fold equity against random shit, but we also have two overs and a obviously open ender. Um, he shouldn't have many um, 8x anyway. We are going to fall back kings in position against Mon Man. Old. So sick. 260 uh, big blind pot. And we have one out. Fuck my mouth, man. Fucking hell. Not much to protect from when he limp calls. That turn and uh, fold river. Uh, probably just jamming ace king suited against a big. Am I? Yeah, against this bigger size, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rip here. Guy seems like a fish as well, so he might just call like way lighter than they should, like ace ten hold, spade. Don't be a jack three or ten. Nice. <laughs> and that's why jamming can be profitable there. And people are like, oh my god, I can't believe you just went all in with Ace King. And it's like, well, it fucking worked, didn't it? Like, I can do switch kick flips, bro. They look terrible, but I can still do them. Uh, I'm not happy about this. This guy's really tight. Well, he says he's tight. He's got 5% 3 bet, but he's got a 27% 4 bet, and he's 4 bet 9s in Ace Jack, so. <laughs> Why'd you do these things? <laughs> Okay, I'll check that. Hello, Aces. No walk ski, please. There's nothing without you here. Would you like a diamond? I mean, like, is he really just gonna bluff with this line? It's so sick. Can he ever have something like ace 10 for this kind of size? Once it goes check check on the flop. I think it's theoretically possible. I think we lose, but against a relative unknown with the pink tag, I guess call and not be happy about it. I'm just trying to work out if I'm just uh, entitlement tilted from flopping so well. Okay, flops top two. Try exclamation point graph, bro, and you'll find out. Kings, jack eight, six. Shouldn't have too many hands that beat us here. Um, I mean, he's probably got one. He really doesn't seem like he gets out of line, this guy. Uh, that's not great. The main draw, well, second second draw gets there. 7-9 suited. 
Um, will be calling turn though, because you can still have hands like Ace Jack, nine ten and stuff. Call turn and then probably have to let go of it on River against this guy. Um, we're not turning our hand into a bluff in case no one thinks that that's what we're going to do. Uh, the question is, can he value bet anything? What is, it's so sick getting this prize. 18.36. Right, one in five times. Does he ever just have like ace jack? Almost definitely not, right? But like... So what are we looking at? Specifically sets? Eights and sixes? I guess just pay him off and expect to lose. I've not gone to showdown with this hand yet, but with this guy yet, but he doesn't seem that splashy. But I think getting this prize, just pay him off. Yep, and then give him the net tag because he basically played his hand face up. And we still paid him off. Hello, Range Jam. Let's, uh, let's fucking... Just be a 10, because if it's a 10 and he doesn't have ace, he, and he doesn't have showdown, then we win a, we win a stack. Uh, this guy dunks, we will go for the raise with aces here. Uh, he goes for the snap three bet, we will see a turn. Is he just going to have a set, this guy? I guess we just call down on, on total bricks. What the fuck is this? I, I need him to have total garbage here. And I don't have enough time to think about this. What are these fucking hands, man, honestly? No, you know, no, you don't, you don't. Give me a jack, please. Wait, do I want the jack? Thanks for the follow, dude. Another headache, another heartbreak. I'm so much older. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> You got Ace King, bro. Good luck to you. I'm playing for stacks against the whale. Yeah, you know, you just flops a set with deuces. Clean run out. We are all in on the left. I don't think he's going to have Ace King. I think he'd three bet, but I may be wrong. No snaps, good. Queen Jack. Please. What do you mean fold? It'll take some pain away if I manage to drop fucking two thousand dollars. Are you okay, sir? Jungle's just getting it in, isn't he? I mean, that that that, that there's a way of increasing your fold equity, blind and blind. All right, reasonable flop with Ace Queen here. I'll over bet the turn. Uh, maybe not actually. I think not. I think we don't want the queen of spades to overbet the turn, because we want him to have the queen of spades, where he has queen x of spades that always always continues. Uh, I'm literally just gonna fold. This was the guy that like we're specifically looking at like ace three of spades, ace four of spades. Although his turn check raise is pretty fucking high. How many hands is this in? Okay, I guess this combo wants to call. Yeah, nice one. And now we just. We can't win, so. Um, six, seven of hearts probably shouldn't even float flop versus the size, so. We basically can't have the best hand. You should check hands like queen eight. So his bluffs on turn should be hands like ace three, ace four of spades. Um, just have some random fucking hand. Yeah, obviously, obviously. Why do I fucking call the turn? Just burning money! Setting money on fucking fire! Fucking nit! Obviously, he's got a fucking set. By the way, that is the third time I've had top, top, or better. Top, top, or an overpair, and they flopped a fucking set. Three times today. <laughs> Took that long to min click. Are you okay? Give me the, give me a 10, bro. This is, this is a good turn, this. <laughs> 10, ding, ding. Please don't have Ace Jack. I will be very upset. Um, I mean, I should raise, but in fact, I'm going to raise. God, it sucks if he has Ace Jack, because I don't think I can get away from it. Uh, 
So I do actually expect to have the best hand most of the time here. Uh, here I don't. I'm going to just target things that aren't ace high. Yeah, I'm just gonna check. I think we have the. I think we win. Such a shit river, bro. I knew I, I should have bet there, man. I fucking wish I'd have. All right, mate. That's fine. I've got. I've got five high, bro. You win. Can you explain your tags? I would have thought they were pretty fucking self-explanatory, to be honest with you, mate, but... A nit is a nit, a reg is a reg, a whale is a whale, a fish is a fish, a friend is a friend, and an agtard is somebody who's very aggressive. Uh, this guy, if he four bats, I'm, I'm just, I, I, I just, oh my god. Mate. Mate. King high board. Uh, I can theoretically have queens. Fucking hell. Please just be a king. Please have queens. Staying on the fucking game. Imagine not even winning a fucking full stack. If he goes all in, I fucking fold. Now, this is why it's so bad being a nit. He didn't get paid for a full stack with kings. Name one other hand I pay him with. Absolutely zero. It gets to a point where if I don't have kings, I have the best hand and you lose a stack. So you cannot beat anyone that has a fucking brain and you cannot beat the rake because you aren't getting enough value with your good hands. So you just end up losing overall because the rake is high. So you will be at 10 and L forever and you will never win at poker. Moaning that nobody is bluffing but he doesn't bluff King 9 himself. I realized that I wanted to bluff it as I didn't bluff it. People always forget. I don't know if you guys know but I'm actually streaming, right? Which means I have a lot of things to consider apart from the hand that is in play, right? I'm playing two tables. I'm dealing with the chat. I'm making sure that fucking nobody's being stupid in the chat like imagine paying taxes. So go and have yourself 10 minutes <laughs> to think about what you've done. <laughs> But I realise, yeah, wait, it should have been a bluff. But also, shut up. What are you doing, Ranger's Jam? King of Diamonds, please. So I'm going to jam the turn. Um, because, so even though, so when he folds, honestly, we have the best hand a lot. Um, the problem with us having the best hand a lot is we have bad clarity on the river. So if we have the best hand, I'm okay taking it down for 52 big blinds. For the times he has 10 jack or fours, we have a reasonable amount of equity. The only better hand we can have is king, queen of diamonds. And he can still theoretically have hands like eight, nine of diamonds or king, nine of diamonds here. Um, which I don't know if they want to call off, but if they do, then we're ahead, so... I think this is a good jam. I'd like to see if this is, uh, approved. How is that fucking four times? Get there. Four fucking times! Four times the big blind has flopped a set today. Four times in 500 hands. Four fucking times. Uh, I want to see if we can actually do that. I, I think I like the play. I think we, we're probably going to do that with king queen of diamonds pure. What do we do with that, sir? I guess, Jack. Uh, I think we're going to do that with King Queen of Diamonds Pure. We're probably just supposed to call. Um, it's sick, actually, by the way. Because um, I call on that river, by the way. No cap. So, like, if, if that goes to the river, Range Jam's going to jam, and I'm going to shove, and I'm going to get even more tilted that Range Jam has quads. That would have been funnier if I'd have just called, because I genuinely call the river with his queen eye. Uh, I guess we get to bat this a lot. I think we went for, like, half pot, which I think is reasonable on this board texture. Ace Queen suited uh, with the bat door flush draw, mix in between small bat, half pot. Basically mixing with all sizes. Uh, Falls basically always wants to raise. Pure raise indeed. Um, I don't think he went that big. Uh, we are never folding with the backdoor flush draw. What if he raises bigger? We are only folding without the backdoor flush draw, but always calling with the backdoor flush draw. Uh, so we call, and the turn comes to two of diamonds. My guess is he doesn't want to have pot bets, but he will have like 75%, but he went pot. Oh shit, he wants to overbet some hands. So actually overbets fours. Uh, it's overbet or check, basically. So let's say he goes for the overbet. What we do with ace, queen of diamonds, probably just call. Yeah, just pure call. King, queen of diamonds, we just call as well. What about eight, nine of diamonds as a jam? Eight, nine of diamonds is just a call. We actually call eight, nine of spades and eight, nine of hearts as well versus overbet. My guess is to just bluff jam on any brick river. Let's say we call though and the river is, the, is a four, the four of clubs. I mean, he wants to jam 10% of the time. Can we call ace, queen suited? 
<laughs> yeah, we can call Ace Queen suited. So if we'd have just called as we're supposed to, then we can call Ace Queen suited, which I probably would have done. Like, so fucking... Mate, what is this session, by the way, man? What the fuck? Kings into aces. Hit, getting somebody hitting a set four times out of the big blind against... Um... Alright, this is a good flop. Uh, we don't want to see a 10. Don't be a fucking 10 on the turn. Just have jacks and get it in. Or eights, one or the other. Okay. Uh, so I guess this hand is okay as a check, but I'm going to bet the main reason being I actually just like, I don't think people will bluff enough, right? Which means if I check, let's say he has ace queen and never bluffs. The idea of me checking is to allow bluffs. And if he never ever bluffs, what size do I want to bet on the turn? 22, 22, yeah. And if he never bluffs that hand, then all checking does is allow him to realize his equity, right? I don't want to let, even though he's only got four outs, I don't want to let him see one of those four outs. I guess we could check and hope he hits an ace and then we can get more money, but I think he's just got jacks here. I mean, so, again, because I don't think people are going to... I think he's just got jacks. This is, this is definitely a check. Like, this is definitely a check. But I'm going to jam because... You might see somebody call off ace jack or like king queen. He still has a combo of king queen suited and he still can have ace, uh, ace king. Hello, queen queen dudes. We actually have, no, we don't have the nuts. Seven nine is the nuts. Seven nine would be fucking horrible. <laughs> gonna say we can't get a slow roll, but I guess we can. Uh, this is fun. So I'm just gonna bomb this turn here because I think he's just gonna fold a lot of shit anyway. Like eights, nines, that's a nine. Uh, but the fact that he tanked means it's, it's possible that he had a, a good hand as opposed to like uh, Queen Tan. So this is going to go check bet fold so often. We should probably actually check this turn or bet like very, very small. But like it's just uh, Dubatronics isn't going to get out of line with like any kind of like fucking pocket eights or some shit. Um, unlikely to get out of line with like pad, uh, like a flush draw, flush draw, straight draw combo. So I think that's just betting and just praying he somehow has a queen just to just to get the money in by the river uh we're gonna three bet our boy mr bongo boy is this bongo no it's not bongo uh i think solvers just mixed this hand between a third and check and i'm going to check against a guy that does not like to fold flops idiot this idiot that what a charm of this guy great personality well somnium just go and fucking find another stream in fact not only am i going to suggest you find another stream i'm going to make you find another stream you fucking bard, bro. Why do people do this? It's so weird. It's literally so surreal. They come in and attack somebody's personality instead of just going and fucking watching one of the other 50 poker streamers that are online. Imagine actually taking the time out of your day to write that comment. Like, what does it achieve? It achieves you getting a ban and then you go and find another stream. Good day to you, sir. If you don't want it, you don't get it. But if you want it, you get it. Range jam, it's worse that you're 300 big blinds deep. <laughs> it's literally worse. <clears throat> um, Jack's with 3-bet. 866 uh, UTG versus MP. GJ Backer with the three months back to back to back. And the fucking spade. The bronze spade. Congrats on the bronze spade, my dude. Uh, I actually increased my delay, so if this guy's trying to get a read, he, he doesn't have a chance. Uh, we could bet here for value and protection, but it's getting thinner and thinner. I'm going to check the turn. So knowing if an ace or a king peels off, um, but I don't really want to bet call here, even though we probably should. Um, I mean, that is just the worst river ever. So sevens and spades aren't folding on the turn. Um, we've basically potentially pot controlled against hands like um, ace, king, ace, queen, ace, jack of spades. All right, nice size. Uh, please have pocket tensor. Uh, I guess we can only call ever. Like this, this button is 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 useless. This button is useless. Uh, tens, queens. You again, just a stain on the game. So that's why we can't bet the turn. Imagine that. Imagine that we can't triple an eight eye board with pocket jacks. Hello, aces. We're going to illusion killer bomb hunter. Anyone in the booth? Some absolute balance. Stokes with the hopefully gift touch wood. What do you mean you've got a hand? No jack, please, sir. Hold it, bitch. Nice. <laughs> Unlucky Stokes. 
<laughs> thought you were just going to have any two and you've got jacks. What do you mean? I got min clicks. Can we see an eight ball corner pocket, please? Eight ball corner pocket, please. I am going to just raise here, am I? Yeah, we're going to just play for stacks. Hopefully he's just got an overpair. Okay. In case he's got absolute punts, we'll just call. Ace queen would be nice. Just giving him room to bluff here. Flopping a lot of sets. Ace eight. Case eight at least. Hello, dunk. Uh, okay, well, if you've got nine ten, good luck to you. I'd like jack eight, bro. Be sick if you got nine ten. Do I want a jam or just bet small? Just guess I bet small. Queen River. Jack 8, love to see it, bro. <laughs> love to fucking see it. Jack 8, Queen. Queens versus Jack 8. What do you mean? So, exclamation point, Nick comes up with his, comes up with his tag. How many fucking, fu fucking sets do I want to flop today, bro? How many sets do I want to flop? This is egregious. Tiger stripes with the prime. Things you love to fucking see. Welcome to the borough, my dude. Thank you very much, son. Oh, yeah, let's have it. Please have a set, bro. So, he's got four combos of hands that we lose to. And he's got six combos of ham hands we absolutely shit on. Um, so we're just going to three-back, get it in, and Prey has a set. Uh, so I guess he could have 7-9 suited, which would suck. Um, but we're still going to go for it all here. Uh, and I think he's just going to check jam a lot, so we just hope that he check jams fives or threes. Now he has, like... You get five six of fucking spades would be absolutely grim. Flushes, I don't think he can have that many. I think he can only have five six of spades, maybe six seven of spades. Six four of spades is like three combos. Just have a set, bro. What do you mean fold? What, what do you mean fold? Do we just fall back, get it in here? Yeah, against a, a whale. Um, may well have aces though. I don't think he's going to three back very wide in these positions. Thanks, Phoenix. Uh, Call, fucking love to see that flop. So I actually don't think he's going to have aces here ever. I could be wrong, but weaker players just tend to just get it in, especially out of position. Uh, he still has jacks, queens, tens with a diamond, which want to continue against his size, even though most of our bluffs get there. Have ace, have ace king, bro. Have ace king of fucking hearts. Have ace king of hearts. Oh my god. <laughs> so like one of the worst hands to, to be up against. Dead on the turn. Love to fucking see it. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Uh, so yeah, so for today, the graph is pretty solid. We are above, um, buying above EV. Weasel's third nip. I've only got two, bro. Um, yeah, two and a bit buying above EV. Pretty nice. Like that little Gapsky there. And yeah, that brings the total to...